Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to ProFootballNetwork.com, our Senior Bowl preview. Now, previously, we've taken a look at all of the positions, some of the underrated players on the offensive line, but now we transition to the defensive side of the ball. One of my personal favorites, because defense, there's an argument out there that it wins championships, and to be able to do that, uh, obviously, we're going to be talking with our Pro Football Network draft analyst, Ian Cummings, and Dalton Miller, as it pertains to the safety position, the back end of the secondary. A lot of teams are going to be in need, especially as some of these other safeties around the National Football League get older. Some teams are going to be looking at drafting some of the replacements, and there's some pretty exciting prospects that are obviously out here in this week's practice and obviously the game this Saturday at the Senior Bowl, January 30th. And uh, to start things off, too, let's let's go off with you, Ian, in terms of your prospect that maybe you have an eye on. What type of traits do you look for when you're evaluating a safety prospect in terms of maybe being a potential depth player on special teams or a backup guy that can maybe transition to a starting role on an NFL defense? Yeah, so with the safety, you know, obviously athleticism is a key trait. Uh, you also want to look for size. You want to look for, you know, being able to read angles correctly and follow the right angles to the tackle point. Uh, so that's big. And also just reading plays because back there using your eyes, you need to be able to follow the right path and put yourself in the position to make a play. Uh, and the athleticism ties into that too. So it's kind of an amalgamation of traits that you're looking for uh, in the context of the senior bowl. Really looking forward to seeing a few guys, uh, James Wiggins from Cincinnati's one. Uh, if he can return from his injury and show off that athleticism and playmaking ability, he's a legit player. Um, you've also got Hamza Nasirudin. I'm going to hit you with another name, though, and another name. I mean, put name in bold. Divine Diablo from Virginia Tech. Uh, this guy is really under the radar, I think, in the rest, you know, when in regards with the rest of the safety class. Uh, but he's 6'3". He's really well built for his size. I think he's a good athlete for that size, too. Play hard. Had a career year this season. And he's one of those guys who you think of versatility in the back end and trying to match guys up in different ways. I think he's a guy a lot of NFL teams might look at as a value deal who can really contribute early on because he really showed out this year and showed that he has the physical tools to do that. Um, so I think he's a guy doesn't have a ton of hype right now, uh, but the senior bowl is a really good chance for him to catalyze that. I, I could tell you this, when the game is played this upcoming Saturday, if he lays a tremendous hit on somebody, somebody's got to coin the phrase divine intervention. I imagine we're going to see something along the lines of that. But Dalton, you know, defensive back play at defensive backs in general, one of my favorite things to study to talk about. But obviously these prospects have a chance, different schemes, 3-4, 4-4, 4-2-5. We see different schemes altogether in the NFL. You still have to have versatile safeties because a lot of NFL teams now play with a too high safety look most of the time. They disguise that and they roll their coverages who do you have your eye on this week? Well, we talk about the multiplicity of defenses in the NFL, but the Dallas Cowboys are going back to a cover three system. Dan Quinn, a little bit uh, easier for the, the defenders to get you know involved in. And a guy who would be perfect as a free safety is Richie Grant from UCF. This is a guy who's got great ball production throughout his career there. He's got really good sideline to sideline speed. He can cover in the slot. He can do a little bit of everything because he can also come down and make a difference in the box as well. Now, he's not the most important the most physically imposing player in the world. Uh, but he is somebody who can come down. He has good tackle ability. Um, and so I think that this is a guy who could come in and be a starting free safety in the NFL. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to come in and be a pro bowler right away, but this is my guy who isn't being talked about enough right now. But I think throughout the process, when guys get to the UCF tape throughout his you know career there, I think he ends up going somewhere you know on day two. And we're seeing the safety position also evolve in the NFL. You know, everyone's like, okay, there's a free safety, there's a strong safety, but I feel like the safeties that probably get the most money when it comes to contract extensions are the guys that can not only just cover, but come up and play in the box as a run defender. Obviously, we mentioned guys like Jamal Adams. You look at guys like Kareem Jackson, or even Justin Simmons, Mika Fitzpatrick, some of the top-tier safeties in the NFL. These guys do all of that. And so, obviously, if you are an NFL team in need of a potential young guy to develop, obviously some great prospects in this week's Senior Bowl. Obviously, that game will be played this upcoming Saturday. And we hope you guys have appreciated the coverage this week here. ProFootballNetwork.com. Just a reminder, check out Tony Pauli and our NFL Draft Insider over here, Pro Football Network. He's got the latest news and site info and rumblings as to what it pertains to some of these prospects whose stock is rising who's falling we took a look at the safety position today our next installment we're going to be taking a look at the linebacker position so stay tuned for that here profootballnetwork.com